Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here. I just want to do a quick review of Evora, Portugal. Evora is located in the heart of Atletejo, halfway between Lisbon and the Este Maduro region of Spain. I'm probably not saying it right, but you get the idea. Anyway, from Lisbon, this area is not that far. Remember, Portugal is about the size of Indiana, and Indiana if you're in the United States, which is a fairly large state. But, um, you know, uh, European countries are fairly small, the majority of them. R regardless, what makes this a great country is that it's, it's large enough to get around and do everything. It's one of those type of places where if you work there, you can literally hop in your car and be in a whole different region and join it. And it doesn't take, you know, a whole day to drive there. So we were on the hunt for a laundromat it was time to do laundry you always end up having to do laundry while we're on vacation no big deal so we said let's try avora because avora the actual city itself is a world heritage site like the whole city so i didn't know what to expect i actually didn't do any research she did all the research for this and didn't really tell me much but i didn't really ask much I, honestly when i was in portugal i was just in awe everywhere i'd go so there was there was nowhere we went that i was like disappointed so we drove around, we looked around. The city itself is like a fortress, and that's what it probably was in medieval times and prior to that. This city is ancient. I'm talking probably predates the Romans. There's a Roman temple here, as you'll see in the video. So you see us driving around on these cobblestone roads. It was an overcast day, part of the day. Uh, right now we're hunting for a laundromat, and the one that the Google Maps has taken us to, we will find out is actually closed. So uh, she got a little nervous. She was driving. We had a VW Golf, uh, not a Golf, excuse me, a VW Polo, which is a little bit smaller than a Golf, even though I swear they're about the same size. I don't really know. But the size of that car was perfect for flying around um, this country, especially when you got into the smaller cities. The city is about, I believe, has a population around 50,000. Now, the city is beautiful. It's got a lot of character. It looks old. And when, when people sometimes they look at the videos and they say, oh, this, that city looks ran down. It really is not. It's just an ancient city. It's a, it's not, Portugal is not like here where we tear everything down and put up nice, shiny things, nice, shiny skyscrapers and all that. No, they will keep things. And it may look a lot older on the outside, but you'll walk inside and it's super modern. Uh, but you can see the left, the remnants of the ancient walls all around this city. So we drove around and some of these uh, areas that you would drive, it would get really narrow. So having a smaller car is definitely a benefit, even though we actually saw the garbage truck going down. I'm talking roads narrower than this, like literally turning down them and doing their job. I was I was in envy of those garbage truck drivers, those sanitation workers are like, dang, they really they can drive because I was like, I would have tore half the truck up trying to get down something like this road right here. I was like, holy moly, look at this. Anyway, Avor is an awesome city. So we drove around, we finally hop out of the car, uh, and what we find is, like I said, that the laundromat is closed or it's no longer located there. So, but luckily there was a local right there. And when you get to the smaller cities in Portugal, not everyone's going to speak English, and you wouldn't expect that. They would speak Portuguese, but way more than enough people speak English. Uh, and in the big cities, of course, you have no problems. But navigating around here, uh, anybody we usually talk to spoke English, uh, uh, definitely enough to communicate with with no problem. So we got to the place and realized it was closed. Um, they basically told us, no, this one is, and told us about another one which was great. So we're going to we're going to go walk back to the car and go find this other one. I know you're like, wow, you're on vacation, you're doing laundry, but you know that's part of the experience too. And honestly, that's what we planned for the day was we're just going to hang out, we're going to do laundry in Avora, the city we'd never been to, hang out, check out some of the stuff, and there was a lot to check out. This was a great place to visit everyone. I mean, the history you just walk and you're just looking at these buildings like, wow, how old is this church? 600 years old, 500 years old, 1,000 years old, you know, and you just look at everything. It was a beautiful city. And, oh, by the way, we actually visited Avora on um, New Year's Eve. So we had planned to take off to Spain. So what we planned to do was explore Portugal and then spend a couple of days in Spain. Well, we never made it to Spain. Um, 
and, and there's nothing wrong with Spain. We're going to go visit there too. But we were in awe of Portugal. Honestly, we we love this country because, like I said, it's not a huge country, but it's not. I mean, by United States standards, we call it small, but it's the size of Indiana, like I said. And I grew up in Indiana, and Indiana is a large state. So, and, but Indiana doesn't have the ocean. Indiana doesn't have nothing like the food here, the different landscapes driving and there's okay there's a castle on that hill there's a castle on that hill they're like oh my god how many castles they got here there's a moorish castle there's all this history so but what we loved is like okay let's go to porto portugal we could be there in a few hours an hour two hours and you're like oh man we're already here and it's like a different environment you go up north and um you can see i think it's the uh, no, i don't want to mess it up but there's a whole nother region where like this like a high percentage of people that are blonde haired uh blue eyed uh descendants of i forget what it is but that's just the type of history they have but everywhere we went it was awesome and not only is evora awesome and this area awesome the pe portuguese people are good people and you know I, we've been a lot of places and i'm not saying any names some countries you go to people are rude or you know, I'm like, Oof, you wouldn't make, you know, you wouldn't make it in the United States because literally we've been countries where people are like not just rude to you, but rude to uh, native folks of their own country and how they talk to them, like customer service and all that. Not here. People are actually genuinely nice people. And I'm being honest on that. People are, 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 are good people. And when you look at people here, and, and by the way, Avor, just like almost all of Portugal I've been to, is very diverse. There's all kinds of people. Like I said, this Portugal was an empire, so people from the old empire, uh, people relocate there after the Angolan Wars and the wars they fought. A lot of the people that were fought on their side uh, that were um, indigenous to those areas actually moved there too. So it is very diverse. Here was too. And getting back to the kindness people are good people but when you look at people this isn't a country where i'd say people are like super skinny and all this stuff like you may see in other parts of europe no um yes you'll see people that are on the thinner side but what you see is not people that are unhealthy but people that look like they eat well what i mean by eat well like uh, not just eat well but like they have a good life like a uh uh just a nice, calm life. Like they eat well, they probably drink good wine, they look to be in good moods. Um, everywhere we went, we didn't see any real incidents. We saw homeless people, there was no incidents with them. They were actually way well behaved in comparison to the United States, and I'm being honest with you on that. Uh, but they, the folks here look like they eat well, they, they live a decent life, and it shows in their attitudes and stuff. It's not a rat race. And I can tell you that for a fact, just looking at people and all the places we went. I love Japan. I love when we went to Japan, but Japan is a hustle and bustle country. You know, everyone's moving fast here. People, you know what? Hey, we're going to get there. We're going to do this. You go out to eat. It's 8 p.m. You go out for lunch. We went out and had dinner on New Year's Eve. As you can see, here's the temple. The temple was really cool going and seeing that. We ate outside while in Avora. That was awesome. Uh, but just seeing this old Roman ruins of temples where, you know, P ancient Portuguese and people that moved to Portugal or uh, that area back in the day would go worship their gods and all that stuff was um, pretty cool. And I believe they said this, they're believing this was part of some Roman cult to the king or the, uh, the emperor. The emperor had their own temples where people would actually worship them. It was supposed to be called, I think, the Temple of Diana, but they think now that it might be like was used by a Roman cult that actually worshipped the uh, actual emperor. I would highly recommend everyone go to Evora. Go check this place out. This place is awesome. Uh, Portugal itself is awesome. Everywhere we went, we, we, we loved it. It's got so much character. It's got, I don't want to say soul, but yeah, it's got soul. Like these little cities, not just this one, but way smaller than this, they just have like this soul to them. The people seem like good people. I mean, it was very calming being here. Look at this view of just sit, standing up here looking over Evora itself. And we didn't see all of Evora. Remember, there's 50,000 people here. So you um, there's outskirts of it and all this stuff. But this is the city. I guess this would be the walled city of Evora, which is the World Heritage Site. Here's a little park that was right near the uh, actual Roman temple. 
Um, you might see it in the background. Like I said, and there's all kinds of people here. Uh, you could see expats. You could see people look like they're probably backpacking Europe. Um, just all good people walking these back streets here. Make sure when you go to these cities, though, you figure out where the bathrooms are. Um, once you locate them, it's cool. You'll know where to go to public bathrooms, especially if you're eating outside. And they may not have restrooms inside the restaurant. This was, I believe, an old monastery we walked past and all that stuff on our way back to the car. Because we've been here all day. Like I said, we did laundry. The laundromat was a trip because it only had two washers and two dryers. Brand new, super nice ones, but only two washers and two dryers. So she sent us off to do our thing because she wanted to do the laundry, whatever. So we went out and did our thing and walked around, explored a little bit, and found out where the bathrooms are so we could take her back. And honestly, was, this city, after we walked around, me and my son for probably two hours coming back and forth to the laundromat, we had the inner wall city down to the pat, so we knew when she was ready to go, we knew how to get to places fast, where the bathrooms were and all the public ones and all that stuff, the plaza. We got a couple of souvenirs. Also, when you buy stuff there, make sure you switch it to euros if you're using your credit card. Don't pay in dollars if you're there. Pay in euros so you don't get hit with a, um, it's like a fee or something. So, um, yes, the euro call is worth more than a dollar, but honestly, Portugal is not an expensive country. Like, even though it's worth a little bit more than a dollar, stuff was really cheap. And that's to be honest with you. Um, it was just, it was a great time here, everyone. And it was really great to get to see a lot more of the countryside because I really like the countryside of Portugal. I love seeing all the cars. There's all these cars. We had one more place we wanted to go to in Evora. Uh, or out, uh, the outskirts of Avora as it's starting to get dark. So the, the story of this, we ended up down this muddy dirt road. And I was like, I don't know if we can make it. Then I started thinking, you know what? Europeans aren't driving big trucks. You'd see a few smaller trucks like Mitsubishi's out here. They do all their stuff a lot of times in smaller cars or just cars. They go camp and they do stuff like that. They're not like here where you got to have a big old camper and a 5,000 pound towing vehicle to, uh, for two or three people to go camping. No, they'll do, they'll go camping and whatever they got. So we drove this muddy road and we went here and this was an ancient, I want to say prehistoric site. I said a thousand years probably in the title, but I think this was a couple of thousand years old, this actual site here, which is a trip to see. And I believe if I remember right, it was a burial site for ancient, ancient man. That was amazing to see. So that was cool to see this on our way out of town on the outskirts of Avora. So we went here, we did that, and then we got we went back to the car, hopped on the road, and we headed back. It was a great time. Everyone, go to if you're in Portugal, you get put it on your itinerary to go check out Avora. You will be impressed. Especially if you have an open mind, you have a good heart, and you like to relax. Um, it's just a good city. No one's moving fast like that. Uh, the people are kind, they're great, it's diverse, it's beautiful. You, you're, if you're a lover of history, there's a lot of history here for you. There's so much history for you that, it, to me, it was amazing to be in Portugal just because, oh my God, I'm standing on you know the outer wall of a castle that the 11th, 12th century Templars were on at one time, or standing here at this wall where the Moors were defending their uh, kingdom from the port, uh, the Portuguese trying to take it back, you know, and all this stuff. Amazing. Everyone, I want to thank you for watching. I hope that motivates someone out who is interested in checking out this country. Anyway, thanks for watching. And this is Frugal Panda out. And once again, thanks for taking this journey with me. And everyone, I hope you have a good day. Thank you. Bye.